let's talk about uh, some of these mid and small cap stocks itself. Clan Pharma is the one which is spiking in a rather wobbly market and that's because of a USFDA nod, Ekta? Yes, absolutely. So they have received a nod for a drug called Formipizole and uh, this basically this drug is uh, used to treat ethylene glycol and methanol poisoning. Now remember that ethylene glycol has been in focus because of all of the cough syrup incidents where there has been contamination. So that probably resonates better in terms of what this drug does. So it helps in terms of treating ethylene glycol poisoning. Now, uh, separately, besides this particular approval, remember that things have been on an uptrend for, Gly uh, for Gland Pharma. For example, in the month of uh, June, at the end of June, their one particular facility in Hyderabad was inspected by the US FTA. They were only issued one observation. And remember that they've had a very strong rac record when it comes to the US FTA regulations. So that probably adds to the sentiment. And remember, in terms of valuations also, the stock is still over 50% away from its 52-week high, but it's rallied close to 30% from its 52-week low of around 861-odd rupees. So maybe things seem to be going a little positively for Gland Pharma, which has recovered over 1,000-odd rupees. Remember, its 52-week low was at around 861. So since then, it's recovered. It's made a move on the upside. There's an approval which has come through plus one of their uh, inspections has gone through successfully as well. So that seems to be boding well on an overall basis for Gland. Okay, well, thanks a lot for that. That's on Gland Pharma. It's been one of the worst performing 